Thanks for checking out this unboxing video. This is for the June Freight Crate. Yes, um, I think I'm most excited for this one. I can't remember what the specific uh, properties were for this one or franchises for this one, but I remember when I saw it, I was like, ooh, those are good. That's a great, great lineup. Um, so real excited to get into this, even though I think I remember maybe one of them, but we'll see if I'm right or not. So, yeah. And if you remember, I missed the what was it, April box, but then was back on it with the May. Uh, I've already, obviously I've got the June here, and then I had already uh, ordered the July when that was available for ordering, which, by the way, that one sold out like the same day it went up. So if you want to get in on this box, it's been real hot lately, so make sure you get it same day. Uh, the sales, um, the sale for, it goes on sale the first of every month is what I'm trying to get at. All right, so let's get into this sucker. Paper. All right, let's go with the shirt first. I'm hoping for a really good shirt. <laughs> nice. Ooh, yeah, it's looking. Oh, and this is um, this is a, the franchise that I thought was in here, and it's kind of funny because I'm gonna be watching this movie tonight. It's on Netflix at the moment. That is a really nice shirt. Man, that's a really nice shirt. Poltergeist baby. Yeah, um, when I'm putting this video up, doing this unboxing, uh, it's available on Netflix. So I'm watching uh, Poltergeist tonight. And yeah, that's a really nice design shirt. That looks really good. I really dig that one. That's killer. All right. So next thing. Here's a, a magnet, one of the resin magnets. This is... What is this from? Is this like from Buffy the Vampire Slayer or something? It kind of like looks like one of the zombie or um, zombie vampires. Kind of how they look, Buffy the Vampire Slayer. I'll have to find out in the thing. Um, uh, I don't love this. It's okay. I have a, a mini fridge for beers on the ground, and I've just been putting these magnets when I get them just on the side of it. So I'll probably just put that one there too. Even though I'm not huge on it. Okay. I mean, there's two other boxes here. Is there no pin? I don't think there's a pin in here. That kind of sucks. Always look forward to the pins. But whatever. Okay. Uh, interesting. What the heck? Okay. So this is a key ring holder. I'm going to have to kind of put it together. How's it supposed to look? Oh, like this. So it's a key ring holder. I don't know if I want to put it together all the way. I'm going to partially put it together. But it's from the show Hannibal, which is also on Netflix at the moment. And what the heck? Yeah, so basically you're supposed to... I'm not going to push it all the way into place because I don't want to like have it affixed. So it's the deer antler thing from Hannibal. I've only seen the first season of Hannibal, so I don't... It's been a while, so I don't think there's a tie-in in the first season, but I do plan on going back, re-watching through that, and then going through seasons two and three. But this is a keyring holder. I guess that's cool if you want to put that on a... I, I have no like actual use for keyring holders. I don't know if people really use those anymore. I'm not really a fan of this item, to be honest, for that reason. Plus, it's the fact that it's like a deer head, people aren't going to know that that's for Hannibal necessarily. Like, there needs to be something else that signifies that. Like, maybe says Hannibal on it or something. Like, it looks fine for what it's supposed to be, but I just... You just have to know that that's what it was intended to be because it just looks like a deer head key ring holder. So I don't really like that item, to be honest. Not a fan. And then, uh... I think this is it. Oh, no, there's the pin. Thank goodness. I'll do the pin first. Ooh. Oh. Oh, oh, this pin is nice. This is a cool pin. This is a cool pin right here. This is a really cool pin. I'm down with this. So this is from Friday the 13th, part seven. It's a rotating pin. You guys are going to be impressed with this. I am. Look at this. And then the weed whacker, man. <laughs> that is such a cool idea. That's awesome. I really love the pins that they have in here. They're typically really well designed. This one is no exception. It's really well designed like all the other ones, but has that little extra added movable piece, which not a lot of people do that with pins. So when they have something that, and it actually makes sense because I've seen movable pieces on pins before that just, 
it, you can tell there it's just there to be like, ooh, there's a movable piece. It doesn't really add anything to it. This legitimately like adds to it. That is, that's pretty impressive. That's that's a great idea. That's a really nice one. I really dig that pin. That may be like my favorite pin to be honest that I've gotten out of it. Yeah, yeah, it might be my favorite pin at least recently. Okay, and then here we go for oh man, this resin piece. Yes, I am. This is from a movie that I'm I'm a fan of. I really like. Ooh, it looks really good too. Oh my gosh, this is one of the better ones that we've gotten too. Uh, Fright Night, the original Fright Night. Look at this. I guess that's what's her name in it? Amy. Amy is her name in the film. When she finally turns, when Jerry Dandridge has turned her, that looks really good. Look at that. Yeah, and I mean, like, the flesh tones look like legit flesh tones. The hair looks good. Good sculpt, sculpt to it. I don't know about the, the, how low down the lip is hanging. That's a little weird, but it looks good, especially from afar. Like, look at it from afar. Well, not that far. But look, it looks good. Plus, it says Fright Night. See, this is what I'm saying. Like, you need that for that, for that Hannibal deer head key ring. You just need a little thing like this that says Hannibal. But this is nice. I really like this. I'm going to add it. I have all the my favorite ones sitting over there on a table. So I'm going to add this one to it because I love Fright Night. Love, love, love Fright Night. So, okay. So they don't have, I wish they would be doing the, um, the little card that tells you what was in the friggin' thing. Because it's not in here. I guess they just stopped doing that. I don't get it. Or I just didn't get one or it's stuck in, or it's stuck in the bottom. There it goes. Good thing I searched. Okay. But here is one thing that I wish they would get back to doing. For a while, they were putting on the list, or at least on the back of this card, they were sh telling you what was coming up in the next months. So I wish I had that to kind of like give you guys a teaser so you could decide if you wanted to get one or not. But just follow them on Facebook. Um, they, they'll they put up like a little graphic of everything listed. So anyway... So the exclusive Amy bust from Fright Night, a delightfully evil and frightening piece, another fantastic offering from Serial Resin Co., exclusive only to Fright Crate. And Serial Resin Co., as you can see if you've seen enough of my unboxings or seen any unboxings of Fright Crate, those resin pieces are usually the star of the box. Every now and then they're a little eh, like uh, I can think of, you know, one or two that I was kind of like eh about, but for the most part they're usually really good. I think still one of my... I think my three favorites at the moment, the Army of Darkness one was great. I think that was last month's. The the genie, the djinn from Wishmaster, and the clown shorty from Kill a Clowns from Outer Space. And those are the three I have sitting like in the front of my table over there. So anyway, they do great work. Exclusive, they're here shirt. They're here on Fright Crate, digital painting by our favorite artist, Max Cave. And yes, Max Cave, always doing an amazing job with the shirts, sometimes doing art prints too, uh, but I'm more into the shirts. I like the art prints and I put them up. I actually put one up over there, but exclusive, the Haunted Mask Magnet. Oh, from Goosebumps, the Haunted Mask. Okay, that, yeah, that does look like it. It definitely does. But I mean, it's kind of like a plain type thing. Second outing from Serial Resin Co. inspired from one of our all-time favorite Goosebumps episodes. I never read any Goosebumps. I had seen a little bit of the show when I was younger, but that's about it. I missed out, I think. Uh, exclusive Friday the 13th Part 7 Rotating Pin. Exclusive pin with spinning saw blade action. Two-inch soft enamel double clutch. Yes, and it is clutch. And then exclusive Raven Stag Key Holder from the Hannibal TV show. This month's mystery item, the antlers are the key holder. Maybe a spoiler-ish, I don't know, because I'm not there yet. But, um, yeah, I'm like I said, not a big fan of this, the key holder, because like I said, like you won't know what that's from unless you have something saying what it's from. Uh, this is fine, I mean, for what it is, I'm just not a big fan of that. It just looks kind of plain-ish. The bust awesome really good the pin one of the best they've done very inspired very cool idea on this one great execution and then this shirt man this shirt's amazing i think what do i like most I, yeah i mean the design of this is so good 
I gotta say the shirt's gotta be my my favorite item from this, but followed closely, I think, by the pin and then the bust. But those three. So really good box. Yeah, I'm really happy with this. Yeah, so I don't remember any of the properties for the next one, but I remember it looking good, I think. But I'm just going to keep going. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this unboxing. Go ahead and make some comments down here. What looked good to you? What didn't look good to you? And also, are you getting Fright Crate? And if so, what are your favorite items? And I guess you don't even need to get them. Like, what are your favorite items that, I, that you watch me unbox? You can do that too. And we can just talk horror down here. But anyway... Uh, do me a quick favor, hit that subscribe button if you like any videos I do. If you don't know, I do a bunch of movie reviews on my channel. It's not just like, I liked this, I liked that. There's a little bit of that, but it's a lot of looking into the subtext of films, the, the underlying themes of films, what's really going on, like real analysis of the films. So hopefully you'll check those out and enjoy them, but do me a favor and hit that subscribe button if you like any of my videos, because uh, that helps my channel out a lot. And it's literally takes like a second for you to do and if you are going to hit subscribe or you already have make sure you also hit the notification bell because that way you'll know whenever i'm putting out a new video or whenever i'm doing a live stream because i do those as well and they're a lot of fun but thanks regardless for checking this out and until next time keep it brutal